This is Tinchy Blaze and welcome back to the corner store where we're continuing where we left off. If I remember correctly, we were looking for the ghost. Oh, also, I went ahead and removed a lot of the nasty grimy. I found the settings and cleaned it all up. It's not as annoying to the eyes anymore. So let's go ahead and get back into this game here. Looking for something. Oh, there it is. Okay. Spooky. Let's go ahead and exit the cameras and get whatever that is. Let's go this way, open the door. Talismans. Let's go ahead and pick up the talismans. Now we know what they're for. If I remember, we use them to exercise the door in the last video. Alright, put them on the store. Yes. Hey, we're exercising the door. And the problem with the bench last time we could pick it up, but now we can. Hopefully it works for this. Opening the AC. And then stop the fan. We got a key. And the only door I can think of opening, since everything else is open, is you can open the door back here, probably. Let's go snooping. Whoa. That's definitely not normal. What's your dead rodents? The manager? How was he writing all these? All that in the book. Tape, and there is dead rats. There's tapes everywhere. So he was the one. What is that? Bang on the door. Well, I uh, guess it's a darn good thing I put talismans on that door. Staying on the windows. No, don't look at me. Oh boy, that's horrible. Look at that creepy face looking at me. Is there anything we can do to get out of here? What were you watching? Third night? You should just call the cops. You crazy? Call the cops. What was all that about? So, she thinks it's a nightmare. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Seemed pretty real to me. It's a good thing that lady gave me a good luck charm when she did. Pick up the flashlight? Yes. I have a feeling this is about to get a whole lot worse. I can't open my own door. Interesting. Oh, there's a tape. Uh, you know, we saw whatever happened to that guy. I don't know why we're doing this. But we'll put it in our old school VHS. Here goes. Watch closely. Ok. 
Okay, we're seeing the same house that we went into. Okay, um... I don't know whatever she thinks she's doing, but maybe she really needs to stop watching these tapes. Okay. I'm gonna start putting lights out here for her. She doesn't have to walk in the dark so much like this. I can see anything in the dark. I can see the station from the gas station or the corner store. Not as annoying looking without the uh, without that film grain or whatever it was doing, 90s cassette looking thing. It is still pretty dark. Just gotta make our way back to the corner store here. Great, the scary corner store. Maybe that guy lost his eyes too already by this time. Always so pulling his little pranks. Ooh, again, he's not at the front counter. The back is open. You know what? Let's worry about that when we're on the clock. Let's let's do that. Anybody pays you to wear off the clock, so there's no no punching card. Interesting. Couldn't have been a dream. Everything's open like it was. Let's go ahead and get off these cameras and figure out what's going on here. We know that the door to the back, to the back stock room is open. You know what? Let's try that again from here, now that everything looks horrible. Oh yeah, there's a kid there. What is he doing? Just wandering the store, huh? Wait, why do we have TVs? We don't sell TVs. What's happening here? It's changing. Alright, I guess we're gonna go out there. And face this kid, whatever he's doing. We don't sell TVs, but apparently... We got him. Hey kid, I know you're in here. Okay. He's in the store walking around. The restroom. That opening. I wonder if I can escape to the front. I 
definitely can't go out. And that TV just stayed on. Okay, at least this stayed the same. Stock room is the same. Oh, they're preparing for like some kind of a jump scare here. I can't go out the back. So, there's one more thing I could possibly do is turn on all the TVs. And see what happens. Turn off. What is all of that going on? This is some kind of some kind of coaches. Yeah, there's got to be some kind of some kind of way to figure that out. How do the help of the kid here? Let's see. He looked at that one. He's walking through. Okay, I don't know which one he's looking at there. Just from there. The one at the bottom. Straight one there. Let's go try this out. See if I can remember that pattern. He came here, looked at the bottom one, and then he went over here and just looked. I'm not sure was this one. Let's see what other one looks at. Hope I got the right correct ones. Let's look at that one up there. Looking at that one there. It's coming around. Let's look at the one beneath that one. one at the very end. Check that one out. I think that that might be exactly what's going on here.
Last I saw, I saw him staring at that one, right? I think it was that one. So it was that one. Is that one? It's very end. Uh, I think he. Maybe this one? Anything? Nothing at all. There's gotta be more to this. It's kinda hard to go off what he's staring at. Maybe if I just round me turn them all on. It's definitely got to do with whatever he's looking at. So let's try this one. And that one. Still not working. This might take us a while here. Didn't mean to get out there. Didn't mean to exit, but uh, let's see. Did they get a better vision? Of it. What is he looking at? See what actual TV you're looking at, because we can't really see from just. Okay, that's the first one I'll light up right there. I'll try to go as detailed as I can. I know he was looking at this one. Second one up at the end on that one. Second one up at the end. So it's this one right here. Let's see what else here. And that one he is looking at. Okay, looks like this. Alright, the one down the hall. Let's go ahead and do this. Put it. In. Okay. Seem to be this one. Okay. Where is the location? It's going back around here. It looks up at that one that we're looking at. Or it could be this one on the very top. That's that very bottom one again. Let's hope that's what it is because if not, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. Is a really good look at this one too. That didn't work. Okay, let's try this again. 
time with that one. This one. This one. And for sure it was that one. Good enough here. Definitely still want that that one, I guess, right there. Let's turn it the lone bottom one, okay. Try that again. Stare at the lone bottom one. It's kind of hard to see what he's staring at. But, uh, yeah, you know, we're trying to get it done. This time. Now we're hearing different sounds back here. Okay. All right. Let's go in there and see what he's crying about. Took a while. All right, we got it on the floor. Is this where we put our throw away or put it in there? Send it off to someone else. Hmm. Let's go ahead and send it off to somebody else. Maybe it wants us to send it. Yes, I am sure. Let's go ahead and send it off to somebody else because. If I remember correctly, with these things, you can't just throw them away. You gotta send it off to somebody else. What? I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the cinder. Fortunately, the cinders I just was on the box. When I was done preparing it to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders, tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew uh, I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear my mind, my head. What I did see was everything I witnessed even real. Although I was scared, I thought I had to know the truth. I wanted to know <coughs> what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forms talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange form stood out to me and it said there seemed to have been a gruesome killing on the property in search. The same comment, 2009, the case was where the man was mainstrayed, okay, murdered, suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, a man killed with a child, knife. So basically, it's all, from what I'm reading here, it's basically all about murders. And there was one where a pregnant lady, oh Jesus, 
throw over the scissors, but then it's, I had to continue. There was some guy who replied to comments said, you worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he complained to several, to several colleagues and on that day of the incident, it said that he had an emotionless face. Interesting. Well, that is a lot of reading. All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hard time to jump, but a broken feeling after quitting. I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible. So, as not to look at the building. A day later, the store closed down, and the reason seems to be due to poor management. Further details were not publicized at the point. I didn't have the means, courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw a woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Interesting, that last part had a lot of reading. I, it was drying me out. Sorry guys, couldn't read it all. So that ending didn't seem typically bad, I guess. It's one type of ending. A game by Chillis. Chillis Art. So I guess that's basically the game, guys. Uh, I liked it. It was very mysterious and spooky at the same time. You did have. It didn't have very many jump scares, which I like. It, it worked. It played more on your on fear than jump scares, which is definitely something I like. I like to be genuinely scared, other than just jump scare all the time. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there will I will be making more scary videos here soon. So if you can uh, like, subscribe, please do so. If you can, if you can't or don't, doesn't matter, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great Halloween and good night.